Kitty, um, coming off a loss, mate, which isn't a normal occurrence for you guys, not this season anyway. Like, sometimes you can learn more out of a loss than a win. Do you feel like it was a positive thing for you guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, heading down to Tasmania is always a challenge. I mean, I guess the clear objective was to get the win down in Tassie. Um, but in saying that, I guess an 8 2 start is pretty, pretty, pretty good for us. Um, it was just lack of of our defence that really hurt us in the end and a few free kicks that hurt us which they capitalised on and um, I guess you know we we'll moved on down onto GWS this week and hopefully continue our, our home ground advantage here at the Gabba. Did you did you sort of rest on your laurels a little bit like a couple of times you kicked ahead you're you're up by 20 early on and then it might have been 22 I think around the third quarter or early fourth quarter something like that did you sort of from an outsider's perspective it looked a little bit like you went oh we're home now did it did you relax at all during the game? Uh, I mean, you know, the, the whole game, we sort of we sort of um, spoke on it a bit. It was going to be a grind, and um, Fags always touches on it, like Pound the Rock game. So we knew Hawthorne were going to keep coming at us, and um, I guess in the end, unfortunately, we lost. Um, just some little discipline stuff, and yeah, which which I guess hurt us in the end. But um, yeah, I guess credit to Hawthorne there. We're, we're still we're, uh, we're fighting all, all game, and you know, yeah. So you touched on that defence. Is that or the lack of defence almost? Is that was that a is that a mentality thing that you can switch around, or is it something a bit? Um, um, no, I guess as a whole club, we're pretty sound on our what our defence looks like. It's just you know lacked in, sta um, in stages during the game, and um, you know as a team we like to um, I guess hold hold teams to I guess a, a good score, where, but they end up scoring I guess a hundred and some points, which yeah, which is always tough, but um, yeah, it just hurt us and then really so. Clearly, it's not just a defensive, like as in a back six problem. Like when when you can see the hundred and seventeen points, yep. does it feel like a kick in the guts when a team puts that many points on you? Yeah, it's it's always tough. I mean, the ball's always coming down there. And, um, I guess as a defensive unit or as a team, you know, we've, we've got to expect that. You know, every team's a quality team in the, in the AFL, and we just got to prepare well. And um, you know, but as as a whole, we we touched on it yesterday or oh, Monday, sorry, or oh, Tuesday, sorry, but. Um, looked at vision and what, what we can do better coming this week and um, just stay consistent with team defence, yeah. How do you change that mentality then coming into this week? If you looked at the video on Tuesday, you could pick up that there was a turning point. Yeah, we touched on, touched on it after the game briefly. Fakes just um, touched on it, I guess, after the game. What, I guess what hurt us in the end and then um, coming in on Tuesday, I think it was, Fakes just had another word as well, just briefly on um, our approach this weekend, which... Um, you know, it's, it's going to be based off defence. I think most of our most our best games come off the back of good defence and our selflessness um, as a club in, in, in whole. So um, I guess, yeah, this week is going to be focused on defence and I guess our attacking and our goals will take care of itself. Um, I saw an interesting video of uh, Big O leading you in a rendition of um, Smash Banana today with the boys all around him. Is this, this a new theme to change that mentality? Is this a new new tactic the team's employing? Yeah, I guess so. I guess this whole week we just want to bring energy uh, throughout training and throughout yeah throughout the week. So um, usually Froggy touches on it, um, you know, but that, that was a new one. I never heard that one before. It was my first time hearing it anyway, so I was just at the back having a good listen. <laughs> Why Big O get the honour? Is he the best singer in the group? Yeah, he's pretty funny. He's a quiet bloke, but he's actually a pretty funny bloke. So, yeah, no, I guess he's just a funny guy, yeah. What is, that, is that something you do every week? No, that was the first first in a while actually, so I'm not too sure why, but got us up and about. What's it, what's it um, mean playing back at home? I think you've been on the road away from home anyway, four out of four out of five weeks. Um, yeah, played at Metric Metricon, Sydney and Tassie, so um, hopefully yeah, Adelaide, sorry, yeah. And um hopefully get a good 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 crowd. Sadiavo, um, I'm sure they all turn out and you know, we love when everyone turns out here. It's um, the gab is always loud and well, I guess we play on the back of that and get our energy up. So, club, I know the club probably doesn't like making, or the team doesn't like making excuses from it. But four travels out of five, does it get does it get fatiguing? Um, well, in my opinion, um, it doesn't. I guess it's always a good challenge. Um, I guess internally we all know, um, you know, it's just another road trip, and um, you know, there's always going to be not, not a home and ground advantage. But we're always confident in going in ga every game, whether it's away at home, we're going to do the job and. Um, like I said, yeah, hopefully this week good good turnout and we'll be looking forward to it. How's Hugh tracking, mate? Yeah, he yeah, um, had a tough day today. I think he didn't train, so he'll miss this week, but um, we'll be right to go next week, yeah. No, not the doctor, but did everybody else finish training today? 
yeah, good turnout. Joey was in uh, a few of the drills, Maka, Maka as well. Um, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow from Fags and all the other coaches. So, um, but yeah, and um, in the end, I guess he won't be playing this week. So, what's he? What what, what sort of um, loss is it to take Hugh out of that team? Yeah, he's a classy player, very elite player, um, one of the best players in our team. So, um, you know, it's always a loss. But I guess all the the medical team and everyone around knows what they're doing. So, um, we had uh, Mitch Robinson as a medi sub plays a wing role, um, you know, we've got uh, Devin Robinson um, and a few other players that will come in and if they get the chance, play really well and uh, contribute really well as well. Being at home and also going over for Indigenous round again this week, is that something that's pretty close to home for yourself? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I guess the whole week in general, or whole two rounds, it's good to spread awareness and, um, you know, as an Indigenous uh, person, it's a very proud round for myself and family and, you um, everyone else in Australia, so it's good. And um, I expect, you know, everyone else in, in Australia loves the round, you know, just to see how much the, the footy and our culture means to us, so. What's the message you like to send over Indigenous round? Um, you know, uh, th- throughout the whole week, everyone's, you know, asking questions. It's, it's good, you know, I guess more awareness is, is good. Um, you know, I guess five, six years ago, probably wouldn't have you know, the, the talk in the locker room probably wouldn't be like questions about my culture and stuff, but it's good to have um, most of the boys just asking questions and, you know, asking where I'm from. And um, it's good, yeah, in general, it's pretty good.